You have now seen all previous videos and it all sounds very good, but you have no idea on how to find a language partner to speak with you five hours per day in your target language. Maybe you live alone, you are not very social, or simply you don't have anybody around you who is also interested in your target language and is at the same level as you are. Don't worry, if you really want to move forward with this, you can still do it online on Zoom for example. And at the end of the video, I will tell you where you can find language partners online. The main advantage of doing it online is that you are more flexible because you can do it anywhere. Also, from the mindset, it's much easier to meet up on a specific Zoom call and then only talk in your target language in there. In the real world, this switch feels much more unnatural. Another advantage is of course that you can have multiple people in one Zoom call, maybe even up to four people. Also, you could switch people and for example talk with one person on Monday and Wednesday and Friday and with another person on the other days. And of course, it's all for free and it's fun. But there are also some disadvantages. Don't worry, I will present you a solution for each one. So the most important disadvantage is that it's very, very tiring to hold a phone call for over five hours. It's almost impossible. However, if you think about it, when you are not in a call and you are around someone for five hours to only use the target language, that also means that there is a lot of silence. For example, when I was sharing a flat with my two German friends, Matthias and Pete, we were supposed to only speak Spanish in the living room. But that means there were also a lot of silence breaks, as everyone was doing his own thing. One person was at the computer, another one was maybe reading something. Also, when you and your language partner are walking together on a university campus, you are not constantly talking. You might be checking your phone or just walking together in silence. However, in an online conversation, it would be rather strange to have 15 minutes of silence. So, in other words, five hours in reality with this language game could effectively mean two hours of talking non-stop via a Zoom call. Of course, you could also try one hour at the start to see if you have enough topics to cover. And this is also the second disadvantage. In reality, you can usually comment on what is happening around you and it doesn't feel forced. Of course, in an online setting, you can also talk about the day or what you are going to eat, your future plans. But in general, it is harder to find topics to keep the conversation going. But you can find online many ideas on what to talk about. Just make sure that you choose only those topics that genuinely interest you. Something you would also talk about with your friends. For example, talking about sports or gaming. Also, another disadvantage is that the gaming part is not really there, since on a Zoom call it will be unlikely that you forget speaking in your target language. You could of course still add some gamification into it and make new kinds of rules where the loser gets punished when he or she doesn't show up for the Zoom call or is late. And also you could make it a requirement to always learn at least one new word of the most common 1000 words and each of you would have to present it to the other language partner. And the last disadvantage is that it might be hard to find a language partner because this method is not really known and there are obviously not many online forums discussing this method. However, we have an exclusive Discord server for everyone interested in learning languages with this method and you will find the link in the description.